good morning all now i am going to explain about first phase and phase difference okay the phase of an alternating quantity is nothing but the value of voltage or our current it starts from either zero position or reference position is known as phase okay phase difference phase difference is nothing but see here here i can consider two phases one is voltage phase another one is current phase right the phase angle the angle difference between two phases or two alternating quantities yeah. is known as phase difference okay from this phase diagram see here voltage is starts first right that is voltage starts at 0 degrees after some angle current is started right that means voltage is leading voltage leads current by an angle phi or r current is started after voltage right that means current lags voltage by an angle phi okay that is nothing but phase and phase difference now we will discuss about analysis of ac circuit okay let us consider a resistor okay that means here let us consider a resistor r and apply ac voltage to this pure resistor okay here instantaneous value of voltage is v is equals to vm sin omega t okay from this equation because of this voltage current i is flowing into the circuit right current i is equals to v by r that is equals to vm sin omega t divided by r right then current value is i is equals to vm sin omega t by r can be written as vm by r into sin omega t v by r is nothing but im right that is i is equals to im sin omega t that is assume equation number 1 here v is equals to vm sin omega t is equation number 1 from equation 1 and 2 voltage and current are in phase that is nothing but there is no phase angle difference between voltage and current okay if i draw the phasor diagram see here this is voltage phasor and in this phasor only current is placed that means voltage and current are in phase the angle between voltage and current or the cosine of angle between voltage and current is nothing but power factor angle in case of pure resistor this angle will be 0 0 degrees now you can see here phi value is 0 degrees if we draw the waveform this is the magnitude of voltage okay this is the magnitude of current the magnitude of current is less why because already we know that current i is equals to v by r right for example ac voltage is 230 volts okay current is 10 amperes sorry ac voltage is 230 volts see here here voltage and current both are in phase okay now see here the magnitude of voltage is more when compared to current why because current i is equals to v by r right assume v value is 230 and resistance value is 10 then current magnitude will be 23 right that will be represented waveformatically okay here phi value is 0 degrees after that power factor power factor is nothing but cosine of angle between voltage and current is no, uh, nothing but power factor here power factor is indicated by cos phi here phi value is 0 then cos 0 power factor will be 1 that means in case of pure resistor power factor is unity power factor okay after that instantaneous power okay instantaneous power p is equals to v into i okay in case of resistor v value is vm sin omega t i value is im sin omega t from this equation power p is equals to vm im sin square omega t okay after that power p is equals to sin square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 okay that means power is having vm im by 2 minus vm im cos 2 omega t by 2 next average power over a complete cycle is nothing but one cycle is having 2 pi seconds time period rate right? that is p average is equals to here 1 by t t value will be 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi vm im by 2 into d omega t minus integration 0 to 2 pi vm im by 2 into cos 2 omega t if i simplify this equation p average is equals to 1 by 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi vm im by 2 into d omega t minus 0 to 2 pi vm im by 2 into cos 2 omega t okay i can take 2 as outside then vm im by 2 pi into 2 integration 0 to 2 pi 1 into d omega t already vm im is also taken outside minus integration 0 to 2 pi cos 2 omega t d omega t that is vm im by 4 pi integration of 1 will be omega t substitute upper limit that will be 2 pi 
lower limit will be 0 minus integration of cos 2 omega t will be sin 2 omega t by 2 upper limit will be 2 pi and lower limit will be 0 that is vm im by 4 pi into 2 pi minus sin n pi value will be 0 minus right minus sin 0 value again 0 but the resultant value will be vm im by 4 pi into 2 pi that means p average is equals to vm im by 2 that is p average is equals to already we know that this value can be written as vm by root 2 into im by root 2 that is p average is equals to vm by root 2 into im by root 2 already we know that vrms equals to vm by root 2 for a sinusoidal waveform irms equals to im by root 2 right then average power in case of pure resistor is vrms into irms okay in terms of maximum value vm im by 2 after that if i draw the power average power value in waveform medically see here in case of resistor voltage and current both are in phase right this is the voltage waveform and this is the current waveform right now see here here voltage is positive current is positive that means product of voltage into current is nothing but power right that means in this way you will get power after that from up to this pi from pi to 2 pi voltage is negative current is negative right minus into minus you will get plus then power value will be you will get positive only okay that is the waveform in case of pure resistor okay thank you all remaining we will see next class